What's up everybody, my name is Alex Sinclair and guess what? 10,000 subscribers guys, we did it. Amazing, thank you so, so, so much. We're gonna do a longer reaction today, the making of Baby Monsters. Sheesh, let's go. Peace. Here we the go. The system at YG is uh, very free. At the same time, we're all focused on the same. And I'm the so that curious to the see. The YG DNA and the music. How this was done. <laughs> we used to just hang out, work on music, communicate with each other, and be able to come up with ideas. Because if you guys don't know, I write, record, produce all of my own music too, so this is so cool. <laughs> Free flowing atmosphere. It's a place where we all hang out. Producers, Pro Tools, and artists find their uh, unique sound, continually trying to get better at our craft. I think that's something that the atmosphere provides here at YG. YG, baby. Oh, I think I know this guy. Yes, I feel like I've seen some stuff. I've been that a YG producer here since 2009. I came into the company to work on the first album for G-Dragon. And I've been here Ooh. for 15 years ever since. And it's been a ride and it's been a blessing. At YG, I've worked with... So cool. Big Bang, G-Dragon, 21, Winner, Blackpink. Makes sense. Treasure. Yeah. If there's any of those artists you guys want me to react to, let me know. My name is Choice 37. 37. Hey! And I am a YG producer. Love it. Originally, um, my style of making music, I usually produce music by myself. Around 2017, I guess there was a necessity for there to be more teamwork and more, uh, no. more of a team <laughs> effort. Okay, 좋아요. 고생하셨습니다. 잠시만. 좋아요. Good. So my team, it consists of Little G, Sunny, LP. Little G, um, he was originally an A and R at YG, and we became friends while we were working. This is so cool, it's like the producer crew. Basically. Sunny is an amazing songwriter. He's also a producer as well, beat maker as well. I but do he like tends to a lot of YG's a lot sound. And vocal directs. So this is cool to see who's behind it. <laughs> and um, we have LP, so cool. who's uh, a beat maker, a producer, a trumpetist, a guitar player, and he's an all around great musician. We That's try awesome. to make sure that the song is paramount. We try not to let our egos get involved. We try to make sure that what we write and what we make feels good. And I think that's very important to the YG DNA. When we collab that's kind of like, that's the way I approach songs is you got to get the feeling right. And sometimes that's the hardest part. You might get stuck on lyrics or a specific sound of an instrument or something. But at the end of the day, for me, at least, it's about the feel. Totally right. As a team and push each other to not settle for less. Cool. Team choice. Nice. Mm. At YG, I think um, the reason why a lot nice of the artists are so talented is because one, I believe that YG picks the most talented artists. I know a lot of people kind of talk cool. about this, but it takes a long time for a YG artist to debut. Yeah, I noticed that too. Like they don't the put out that much that they're, stuff that they're often. Continually honing their craft. There you go. That makes sense. Working with Baby Monster. Uh, he's using Pro Tools there, a system that I have worked with before, but I use Logic for those of you who are curious. <laughs> I think we always knew we were going to work with them. Um, since their training days. And uh, it's always exciting just to see the talent that they have, the God-given so ability talented. that they have to be able to express themselves through music, dance, and... Yeah, like oh. just, just said, that's, that's much better. And seeing that, like, so during cool. their training days, the expression you gotta put there were so into many the, moments uh, where, like, wow, they're like monsters. Like, how did they get so good? 
Baby monsters. I've watched a couple of these like in recording studio things. I've done one myself. It's on my channel too if you want to see it. But like seeing how things are done is just so interesting to me. How oh, yeah, good they sing or how good they dance. Now how much charisma they have at such a yeah. young age. You could Yeah, it's all about like this kind of improvising too and getting like and trying stuff. Studio <laughs> sessions are so fun. Trace producer님께서는 랩 위주로 디렉팅을 많이 해주셨어요. 저의 약간 단점이나 그런 단점 같은 거를 잘 아시는 분인 것 같아요. 그래서 어, 단점은 어, 어떻게 하면 더 나아질지 디렉팅을 주시고 또 장점은 또 칭찬을 해주세요. 그래서 어, 너무나 좋은 분이시고 또 같이 작업을 할수 있게 돼서 너무 너무 영광입니다. Yeah. Oh, that sounded different. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? Last evaluation, they put on the case of Katsi Hewatum Buni Shogachuko, take a Pionage, Hasi Sotom Wataya. Is it Hogatum Yuen and Mude Vie Olagas or Nore Purundago Senga Camion, Nogumite Tarnandago, Hedge Shogajugo, Kusenga Germani, Hariogo, Norio Ketongo Gasmita. Nogum Hamenso, Che Shingyong Sotan Bubun and Ama, a P chorus Bubun Egoatayo. Okay, so what we're here to do is actually maybe try to pre <laughs> like one focusing more time. Hard. You did a good job, like a little bit more strength in it, but like that's the tricky part though. Like, so we've thought of a two cool different ways. talking that to him in English it. and you also in Korean. have your minus 12, so do an octave lower of what you did. Oh. That for sure. And then maybe find one in between your main right now and in the octave low. Okay. Maybe a harmony, like maybe a fifth or something like that. Mm -hmm. And or, and it could yeah, listen. Yeah, he's talking about like layering vocals so if you have a c you can do an octave lower and a fifth and then all together a great sounding music <laughs> listen to it and then listen to your take if you want to redo the take it might be a good idea to redo the full take as well just straight from the beginning to end oh, okay yeah okay yeah you sound better though <laughs> she's like i think oh, last yeah. time your voice was a little bit Adjusting. more lighter but I think I think right now it's good. It has a little bit of weight to it right now. And let's do this. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's what I've noticed too. Just different days in the studio, your voice sounds a little bit different for some reason. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough part to sing. Yeah, got them all going. The part is like a rap like you want to play. Yeah. So I was a little nervous about that. This is so cool, guys. Uh, when we first started working on Shish, it was um, very organic. Oh, this is probably just the producers then. Me and Sunny started writing to Ooh. the verse and the pre, and then we couldn't get a drop, so we worked with the uh, LP, and he came in with that drop for for Sheesh, and so that drop came in with LP's drop, doing and that's lyrics something too. that opened everything up. And as when well we heard that, I think it was just in my head. I was just like, "Wow, Sheesh!" Drop. <laughs> I, I, I say Sheesh a lot too. <laughs> 그래서 어떻게 해야 강렬함을 조금이라도 느끼실 수 있을까 열심히 작업에 임을 했던 것 같습니다. Yeah, the intro is so delicate, like 고급져야 돼요. Elegant, elegant. 네. 그 악당인데 되게 방금 막 둘러가지고 막. 저 같은 경우는 가장 먼 처음 도입부가 있는데요. 그 부분이 소니 작가님께서 엄청나게 멋진 차례. 타고 멋진 약간 아우라를 뿜는 그런 cool 느낌으로 aura. 불러달라고 yeah. 하셨는데 그거를 상상하면서 불렀던 게 가장 기억에 남는 것 같아요. Ooh, a falsetto. So cool. 
그 가짜 감정 같아요. 사할 때는 아 이래 좀 그렇게 해도 괜찮아요. Yeah, that's another thing too. When you're singing words, you have to get them to sound real <laughs> and not fake. Exactly. Like you're actually talking, even though you're singing. It's weird. <laughs> Sometimes you know when you've got the right take, you're like, yes, save that one, print it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a little different. Chiquita has amazing vocal tone. I think it's something that you want to keep hearing over and over again. And, and she also can rap as well. And I think we haven't shown that yet, but hopefully we will someday. Feel the music, okay? Oh my gosh, controlling the breathing is so hard. In my Empire song, it's like there's almost no room for breath. Very hard to do. <laughs> we all know that Asa is insane at rapping, so she's talking to the right girl. <laughs> Also, like the rap in English and Asa's Japanese and, and in Korean, like that was crazy too. Like, you, gotta look, you gotta know the languages. Like, so hard. Baby Monster is so talented and so has so much to show and yes. very limiting within that three minute song. Uh, he wanted that's to true. show that's why the we need more guys of their talents. And I think that's what she should really represent. We need some more songs, to be able to like present to... <laughs> just a taste of how deep their range is. Yeah, I want to see more of like their abilities because they are crazy talented and there's so many different things that they're able to do. And I want to see that like showcased in different ways because man, I love it. I love it. So um, two. there's like a, okay. I guess a fun fact for the second verse, I guess uh, we had a different version of it and I think it would be fun to let you hear it. Must have been how, what we heard before. Uh, you know, it first started out with, there's many Heck multiple yeah. versions, but this version, I'm just going to let you hear. We actually oh, recorded the girls. Got them all going. So that was a that was a version that Asa, Asa <laughs> did, and uh, that was the original original second verse. Dang. Yeah, getting input on your songs too is like pretty. It can be pretty fun. You just it, you give, it gives you a different perspective when other people hear the music in the preview stage, and then you can sort of take their feedback, adjust some stuff. Yep. Like don't blink Wednesday Adams. Mm -hmm. It can be helpful. Sometimes the rap part, at least for me, I tend to do it, if it's a rap verse, I'll tend to do it like last. 3인조로 시시 랩을 한다고 들었을 때 크게 거점은 없었던 것 같아요. 랩할 때나 보컬 할때 톤이 달라가지고 멋진 시너지로 보이는 것 같고 노래가 더 좋은 것 같아요. Asa는 발음이 좀 말이 안 돼요. No joke. 그런지 랩을 할때 타타타타 하는 게 되게 큰 매력이라고 생각을 합니다. Luka, who's amazing as well. Um, I think she really, when she gets in the booth, she tries to show you her performance. You know, we could hear it in her voice. Yeah. The performance she's going to do on stage. That's so important. That's something that she's good at. Yeah, 
I gotta do a rap collab. Anybody wants to collab on a rap track? Let's go. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Oh! I guess, yeah, I guess when she had her like hiatus, I guess this was when she was coming back. And that's the first thing she recorded. So cool! So cool! Yeah. 그리고 아현이 같은 경우는 되게 팔색조 같은 친구다 보니까 랩이면 랩, 저음이면 저음, 고음이면 고음. 그러니까 어느 파트에 갖다 놔도 전부 다 자기 파트처럼 소화를 잘 하는 것 같아요. What the heck? She comes back into the booth and then just crushes that so, crazy part. We had a lot of issues with it. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Hey. I don't like that. I don't like that version as much. I'm honest. That's a lot of yeah. Sometimes it's hard to pick. Like there could be a lot of good options. You just gotta commit to one. It's hard. Oh, this one. But not when you come up with that verse, then it's easy to pick it because it's so fire. Yeah, like that part is that part is really different and unique. I'm glad they went with that. So he did. He took it home and he worked on the second verse and also the last hook. And we were shocked. Really? I wonder, I'm just remembering now, they they did delay the release of maybe it was this album before batter up but they delayed the release date to improve quality <laughs> which was a, like a little bit strange but maybe that's what they're talking about here like it was a whole different vibe i'm glad they spent the time on it though because man I'm happy with that version too. really surprise everybody in a good way. The next songs that we're going to put out, Ooh. I think we're, we're excited because, you know, we're going to be able to show the true talents of Baby Monster Let's more go. and more. And to be able to just put it into a three minute song is very ashiwo. It's very like, you know, it's very limiting. But then, you know, we're going to do our best to be able to show their talents nice. and show their true colors and their identity. And uh, we're excited to be a part of that. You can do it. Love it. Okay, I can do it. You can do it. <laughs> to all the YG fans, sincerely want to thank you. Through all the ups and downs, we really appreciate the support. It's because of your support that we're able to make this music and be able to give That's you awesome. something to feel and to yeah. enjoy. And we take a lot of pride and, and we are very grateful for the support. So thank you and uh, hope to see you guys soon. You sure will. Peace. 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 Ooh. Hey. Seven crews? Holy. Nice. I'm a get in on that. <laughs> Yeah, this is the second verse that's playing. I'm so happy they went with the, that version because like it just, I love the way it hits. The way it comes in is insane. And like, uh, it just, it gets me guys. Well, hey, thank you for joining me for this longer reaction. Let me know if you guys like this longer format. Maybe I'll do some more of them. Uh, again, thank you for 10,000 subs. It's crazy. The Synchros Empire is growing day by day. You guys are the best. I can't wait to see you in the next one. So we'll see you in that next one. <laughs> I'm all going sheesh. Comment sheesh down below if you're still watching at this time. And I'll give you a secret insight into my studio, which is where the production that I do happens. Uh, these are all functional things. This turns on, as you can see on the camera. This turns on. All my speakers just activated. These things, security cameras, they all turn on. And, uh, 
Yeah, there we go. It's old, so it's slow. But uh, that's a little insight into my studio. If you guys want a studio tour, let me know, maybe. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later.